back everybody to part three of this is the police we are going to continue off from where we last st started um, we had recently taken down the red mask gang and are still working on other investigations so let's dive right in City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. Small drug dealers invade Freeburg and Chinese gang operating under Boyd's nose for years. <laughs> Alright, who do we have on shift today? I got tickets to go watch this filming of a TV show. I've always wanted to be on TV. Can I have the day off? Vandal. Yes, but come tomorrow. We need you, Samadhi. No. I can't have two officers taking a day off. Let's go with this one. I like this song. It's very relaxing. Alright, we get 42,500. We have a paddy wagon now. Forgot we got that SWAT, and we're low on officers. Request result. We can now hire one more officer. Let's go with, first of all, let's see what our personnel looks like. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three of those. We need more on shift A. Let's go with Naruto Kodo. Let's go with him for shift A. Cool. Let's see. Let's go back to our investigations here. Let's see. See, let's wait for shift B, since I think the detectives are on that one. Arson. Yeah, we need more on the arson. Let's put. Wait, who's on? Who's on the affairs? Let's see what we got here. Eleven in progress. What do we got? Trespassing. Without two identified men snuck into his farm. Set fire. Alright, let's send rushing in some Audi. Affairs. Police station. Beasley. Okay. Let's put detectives. Let's put, I think, who are the two on this late? It's uh, Moser and Davenport. Okay. So let's put. Davin Port Moser to help. <clears throat> Anything for deputies, police academy, nothing. that in, labor market, they're all full, okay. Got a situation uh, no signs of criminals in their house, the front door has been broken down and shadows are inside. Nice. In progress. Theft everyday mall, drug addict, I'm gonna hide expensive ball of liquor in his jacket, escaping and a throw of it, alright. Send Calvin by himself. I think he should handle that by himself. <sighs> Sandy, tell Jack one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in the hotel and he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think he's time he talks to a police officer face to face. Just of all, we go. Nice, good one. Mafia assignment. 1839. Okay. Well, 
Camera. Parking lot. Woman reported she saw a skinhead attacking a dark skinned valet, striking him through around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. She believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinhead's belt. Oh boy. Sent three officers. You got it. Some Thoval and some Adi. Attempted murder. Oh yeah, that's the 1830. Yeah, we're not messing with that. Outside the apartment, okay. We're gonna wait till the officers get on the call. Let's send uh, Robin and Samadhi for this. <coughs> Arson report. Ooh, three new frames. Open the investigation. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got some stuff. Let's see. Okay. Firestar media started looking around for and that's when I saw it. she ran away. There wasn't time to do anything. Okay. Bought the ticket. We know that. Then she got the bottle and threw it at it? Maybe not. Or maybe it was this way? No. Calhoun and Rushing will go. Attempted robbery. Yes, let's go. Good job, boys. And the day. Uh oh. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached, couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday, and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing, but my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's gotta be honored. 
And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. Ooh. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. <laughs> but if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance, and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. No, oh, you know my name. I'm flattered. Oh, boy. Although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Mm -hmm. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, you exaggerate. God. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. Mm -hmm. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. Ain't that the truth? This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned <laughs> myself, myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only oh way to gosh. live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Nice. Checkpoint. Day 12. Orthodox priest bribes mayor. Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. And students volunteer to help farmers. Nice. My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vicus was right there in my living room. <laughs> when I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd opened my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. Never. 
You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. Oh. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Oh. Fine. The ranch. The morning seemed surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real, the sound of the engine was real, the dust was real enough too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. The San family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades, but few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised oh my company boy, ranks at all. Sat, Mr. Today, Sand. yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Oh. Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby? Do you know anything about my hobbies? Well, judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. <laughs> Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. Took ever so long. But now, I'm older. I've developed a new talent. What talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Oh. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. <laughs> to sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. Mm -hmm. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. Is that so? I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, I'm impressed. Well, some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time, you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kendrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. Oh. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer.
So we're talking about Varga now. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. <laughs> but I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. And call me. Alright. Like I said, it's a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. <laughs> now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. Oh, man. Varga or sand? <sighs> I'll go with Varga. Tell him it's Boyd. Uh, yes, the Brito needs to go. An exciting detective story called, but I don't have to get the killers. No. No. Start the day. Play this song real quick. List of rosters here. Ah, yes, salary, police academy. Nice, Oscar Peterson. Very good. Take care of the city hero, okay? We'll revisit this. Okay, how the. It was parked here. No, sorry. Park turned the side, it's right here, and he shot. And I no. ran around. She said, If you want my frequency, you'll have to run me down. I really want to get this investigation done. Based on the information we know. Quiet, so we know it's a silencer. There was quiet as a rumor car. At least I almost died. I went to buy and it was nearly hit by some idiot's car. So he was by the drugstore because he's nearly hit. Okay, so he comes out. He was parked. They shot. And then they drove to near the drugstore and he was dead. There you go. 
So, Mole is the lead, which is good. SWAT. Let's have Kochi and Yancy, two high end officers, to assist. Oh boy, what do we got? Let's see. Massive fight. Don't have SWAT. We received a call from the Clement and said that the brawl broke out the main hall involving over 20 men. Security, keeping track. You're keeping back because some of the crew are carrying knives. Flash weapon, no one knows why the man broke. Okay. Vandal. Spocky and Lakewood plus the Paddy. I will keep them. Davenport's tired. Deputy. Nah, save my money. Don't need a barbecue, right? To sticks, let's see. Day 12. Weeks the salary, money spent, crime solved slash filled, okay, solved. Two dead officers, officers fired five. Okay. Maybe we should have a barbecue. Let's send I think everybody's good and happy here. Hire a snitch. Do we need a snitch? I think we're good. 412A in progress. Boy, two teams walking their dog out until Irvin eventually want to unleash the dog and the other. Oh boy, alright. Roth and your theorem. Uh, I was trying to raise 10 or one, sorry, just hop on. Send Centron's all we got. Boy, he's trying to grab barely holding off an angry dog that's trying to grab him by the throat. Hit the dog with a taser. The dog lets the boys get in his owner starts to flee or detain her to hold. Uh, run after him. Nice. Good job, boys. Uh, we need SWAT and we don't have enough officers. Nice. Good job, everybody. We need more officers before we take on this homicide. Come on, come on, who's gonna get there first? Alright. Kochi, Yancy, Yodirum, and Roth. St. John's hot attempted murder. Or so the dense fertilizer face during her latest visit. The monster stuck in some kind of boy rest. Uh, Vandal, Lake, uh, Spocky, and Lakewood.
Nice. Good job. Oh, not automatic weapon. Okay. Bring it to the police station. We don't need to sell it quite yet. We got plenty of money. False alert. Yep. And ice converter knows a suspicious black bag has been lying. Oh boy. Okay. All our best officers have to go now. Back until the bomb squad arrives. Whew. Good stuff. Yikes. That would have been a big yikes. Monument to be demolished by and Francis Kenner will succeed Jack Boyd. City administration to finance ancestors. Spread across chaos across the streets. All man major criminals fight for power in the outcome of the struggles. Impossible to predict. One thing's certain a couple of weeks from now, only one family rule the city. Yikes. Good. Let's see. Station. Attempted murder, passed by ring the police when he saw a naked man running through the streets, pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife. The woman was shouting, I'll get you, you fucking. Oh my god. Rushing Peterson. Kodal. Kodal.
Barrier served some punks and they went and attacked one of the family right in the bar for shop. We already sent our men, but we don't know if he's coming where you can come to the park, but don't get in our way. I've already agreed to help Vargas, so I'm not gonna help this sand. Sand. Nice. No, thank you. We're not helping. Hit and run. Another hit and run. Okay. The dark colored car comes here on the corner, hopping the curb and keeping going. Uh huh. Uh huh. A few days ago. Okay. Two people in the car. Wouldn't stop. Crashed. People were fighting at the bar. Six officers, two dead. Uh, we're still doing okay. More testing in progress. A uh, girl entered Eddie's Burgers store to take cook and start shooting at the other customers with a handgun. Cashier called the police in the background. There were gunshots and screams. Middle of the crazy one was shouting, I hate fat people. Oh boy. Vickers, our master, gave us a new sports horse. We're going for a joyride. Now, suddenly, out of the blue, we're getting chased by Tamil and the cop. They're shooting at us. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh boy. Okay, now we got to help Farga. Or Fargus. Send. Uh, we're going to send. Let's go send Calhoun and Spotty. Nice testing in progress. Oh boy, alarm came in from an armor truck. Armed men have blocked the street. Shout out the armor truck tires and our train to seize. Oh boy. Definitely gonna need everybody. Don't have SWAT with me. around the track one of them is carrying a blowtorch on the roof of one that is a fort going shot something to as he sees the stand on the roof you should surround her blue the girls take out there and open fire fire from cover nice good job boys 311a in progress what do we have Fist fight, no fight. A night watchman during his frown falls some noises, discovers several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground. Okay, well, need to wait for more officers. Doing pretty well. Our shifts are pretty lined up. Okay, we'll send Robin, is rushing, Peterson, and Kudo. Oh, what do we have here? 
Someone stands me up, just pin down an alley, they're aiming to me, Mr. Vargas said we can go for your help. I'm Van Dahl in California this time. Hit and run. No new frames found. Okay. So, who's the lead on the arson investigation? Okay, it's he's here. Details. Let's see. Let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with this, this, and this. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. Okay. So we know she get the tickets. Mm, hadn't thought it was soda, okay. I searched out the room, slammed the door. Then I saw it fly, flew straight at the screen. When the screen caught, I thought it was, you know what I heard it. Okay, when the fire immediately, and that's when I spotted her red, she ran away. Oh, wait. Okay, she didn't go up to, she. Oh, because that's a flamethrower, that makes sense. There we go. I was trying to raise ten water charges, Send Samadhi. Then we need to send Calhoun and Van Dahl to help with the investigation. Oh, okay, maybe not. Jackson has, has had decades training his position in the city, but that doesn't mean that his group can't be broken. Take care that Vargas ahead on points after two weeks in the war and successfully carry out at least half of his jobs. And one more thing, just so Sand doesn't start suspecting you betray them, don't let Varga get too long on points. If Sand is out of the lead for three days in a row, it'll cost you your life. Okay, so help him out. So one to two ratio, basically. City crime rate increased by 31%. Mayor's nephew expresses desire to become FPD chief, and Freebird farmers have report record harvest. <laughs> okay, everybody, I think we're going to end it there. Um, we made it to day 14. I'm sorry that the, what was it, day 11 and 12 are mostly cutscenes, but. I think this is a good place to stop. <laughs> a lot has happened between meeting Vargas, the gang war, the, the gang wars, and just sort of a lot of uh, chaos happening in Freeburg right now. But uh, yeah, we'll end it there, and we'll see you next time.